cure a condition almost no one has ever seen. That was the challenge Caitlin Little's parents were up against when a blow to the head left Caitlin with amnesia. Yeah, she could no longer process long-term memories. When she woke up each day, she had no memory of the day before. Well, Caitlin's memory is finally beginning to come back, and tonight's Tonight, Bob Buckley shows us how they managed the medical miracle. Like 9-11, January 6th, or December 7th, 1941, Caitlin Little and her family have their own day that will live in infamy. Thursday, October 12th, 2017. Do I remember what happened October 12th? It's the day she took a blow to the head. Not everything. And developed enterograde amnesia. What I do remember is I got hit so hard that I couldn't, I forgot how to use a water bottle. In the years after the accident, Caitlin's body began to wither. To some degree, we've got a race against time here. Right. A race to help Caitlin regain enough brain power to simply run her organ systems before they began to shut down. What did you write over here in my opinion? Four years into that desperate journey, her longtime academic tutor and family friend Chris Cook told us. There is somebody out there that has the key to this box. They know the answer to this question. The two have just not met yet. This year, all the moving parts are moving. <laughs> they finally did. Right. They weren't when we started. Dr. Charles Simkovich is a concussion specialist in Pittsburgh who helped develop new protocols for treatment just within the last five or ten years. This is something beyond chiropractic, is it not? Yeah, it's its own specialty. It rarely is a new specialty developed in medicine, and this kind of overlaps between neurology, physical therapy, and chiropractic. Yeah, see, this is really stable. Dr. Simkovich carefully manipulates the bones in her head to get them working properly again. The skull is dynamic, not static, so it's moving. So you're not putting the bone in a, in a, in a, in a proper place. You're restoring normal movement. That gets not just better blood flow to Caitlin's brain, but allows the crucial process of cerebral spinal fluid flow, CSF. This spinal fluid is key to removing waste and toxins, something Dr. Simkovich says wasn't done when Caitlin had a concussion at age 10 playing soccer. And she had cognitive issues after that. Hmm. So the problem with that is if the cranial bone movement's not restored, the brain has a hard time returning to normal. A lot of acute symptoms go away. But this, this sets up a, a, an issue called second concussion syndrome, where once you've had one, uh, subsequent concussions can have a more a dire effect. After a couple of months of Dr. Simkovich's treatments and the continuation of stem cell injections into her spine, Caitlin began telling her dad stories about things that had happened in the past. The one that really shocked him is when we had the two kittens fall in the pool. Okay. almost drowned. I had to save him. He was shocked that I was able to remember that. What went through your mind at that moment? Aha. Evidence, finally. Evidence that she's actually improving. Not just that we suspect she's improving or perhaps she's improving or maybe she remembers something, but she absolutely remembered something because she had no notes, no phone, nothing written on her arm. Her other treatments include specialized nutrition and regular chiropractic care. How's the body doing today? A lot of joint pain today, a lot of nerve pain in my legs too. Finding a doctor who understood exactly how his work fit in with the rest of her treatment wasn't easy. You know, it's not every day that you know, somebody like Caitlin and, and what she's been through walks into the office. Oh, yeah. Unique, absolutely unique. It's miraculous what the human body can do. And I'd say if we remove some of the interference, what's holding some things back from our bodies are naturally able to do, you know. The sky's the limit when it comes to results. It all seems like something of a medical miracle. It's not an overnight miracle. This has been going on for almost five years. And became an endurance contest between Caitlin's condition and her parents' determination to find answers. Most people can do something like this for about two years. And then, you know, they run out of steam, run out of money, uh, run out of hope. Really, hope was not something we were discussing anymore. 70 doctors told us it was impossible and that if we didn't do it within that three-year mark, there's no chance of anything changing. Right. They said whatever healing you've acquired by three years is it. But Caitlin has defied those odds, creating a story to remember. I mean, it's nothing anyone would ever want to go through, but I'm, I'm glad we're going in the right direction. Bob uh, Buckley, Fox 8 News.
Well, so glad to see she's doing better. I know, and this is truly a story that, that has, I mean, it's been all over the nation. It, it, People gotten, have been following it, her story. In many ways, it's gone viral. Yeah. Uh, in many ways, and uh, we certainly, you know, our hearts go out to her and her entire family. They have just gone through so much. In fact, we have done 32 stories on them uh, since the very beginning. And if you'd like to see all of these stories, you can watch them on demand on our website, myfox8.com. I'm sure you can just go to the Buckley Report section of our website to see that. Check them out if you haven't seen them.